All right, and welcome everybody for our next deck, which is going to be the last deck on our long 12-hour birthday stream. We have Mardu Angels. It's a deck that, like, I don't know, it, it seems like it has holes and everything. Like, we don't have a whole lot of interaction. I guess that's that's what I'm really saying. Is we don't have a whole lot of interaction for our opponent. I got four Lava Coils, two Mortifies, and this Contempt Chill in here. That's about it. But we've always done really well with this deck. It's really, this deck's just about curving out um, and just kind of going over the top with all these angels. And, you know, having, like, these early things is, like, some things to do, these things to do, things to do early, keep, keep like, the ground covered, and just kind of win uh, by going over the top. So that's really what we're doing here. Um, yeah, our, our uh, control matchup isn't so good. Um, but that's like what our sideboard's for, as you can tell. The four duress, the spy glasses, the theater of horrors, the immortal sons, all of those cards are in for control. Sell the wreckage for Sultai, deafening Clarion for aggro, um, and that's what we got. So let's try out some Mardu Angels. Okay. You've been here for almost 12 hours already, Colonel Fault? You've been here since the beginning? Were you drinking? Got some water. Had plenty of water during this 12 hour stream. I've already gone through this whole uh, thing. Okay. So is it Guildgate? Well, this is not the matchup we want Takali Honor Guard in. I can tell you that. Hopefully we don't draw any Takali Honor Guards. Oh. Wait. Okay, so Mardu Angels is currently 0 and 0. And we went 4 and 2 with this thing. Ah, this is not Gates. This is not Gates. Gotta get that chip damage in. Yeah, warning, not gates. Counter magic? Counter magic like that in an Arc Light Phoenix deck? So we were one permanent away from being able to start activating Arch of Araska. And there's that permanent. What's the best deck at the moment that beats Mono Blue? Um, I like... Uh, I think Gol like the Golgari Undergrowth deck with a lot of Kral Harpooners can also just playing just playing Sultai with like just playing Sultai with a lot of um, Kral Harpooners. Yeah, mono red reds go there. Mono white, yeah, I like mono white in particular with like the creatures and everything. 
All right, it's not a land. We just had six lands in a row. So I was hoping for not a land. So what can Eldest Reborn get back? No, do not tap the Arch of Araska. Alright, we're going down to 10. Let's either go down to 10 or they get Angel of Grace. Not the great, not the best choices. Yep, I'm reckless and unpredictable. And if our opponent did not, um, I guess there's no way to change what just happened. If they did not target the Angel of Grace there uh, with the Eldest Reborn, we we would have you know been able to activate the Arch of Araska for how we kept our mana available there. What is that? Doom Whisper? That is out of left field right there. Lyra. Lyra. Bleh. Charge of Araska has been awesome for us. Thanks, Evan. Thanks for the kind words. Yeah, they, they changed it uh, with an update a few days ago where you can now attack all. Uh, you can attack all, and then, like, after you choose to attack all, you get to choose if you want to attack, like, the Planeswalker or, um, or what. One away from activating Resplendent Angel or Angel of Grace. Nice, okay. That's that's probably not a bad idea, putting one in the Nile Legends deck. <laughs> you think our opponent has like ritual of set? Oh gosh. That would be so bad. Sift is pretty good at three mana. Draw three, discard a card. That's pretty good. All right, opponent didn't want to deal with all those six four knights. Those are all going to be six fours. I think the opponent needed to be a little more aggressive. I think they could have killed us if they like attacked the Doom Whisper a little more. Uh, so it's Kali Honor Guard seemed kind of useless. Um. 
But we're probably going to need some more removal spells, like settles. Uh, for, like, their flyers. And then I think I want duress also. So that's 62. What are the other two cards I'm taking out? Um... Like, do I just take out two tithe takers? Maybe. Maybe I just could trim two resplendent angels. Kind of help out the curve a little bit. Resplendent doesn't match up super well against some of their other stuff. I guess tithe taker is probably just not going to be the thing. Um, if I play an Immortal Sun, I'd probably take out Angel of Grace. No, I think I'd rather have Angel of Grace. I guess I could take out Aurelia. Yeah, I can just take out Aurelia. Aurelia doesn't block Drakes or anything well. I don't know. Immortal Suns... I don't know if I want these. All right, one sun, three tithe taker. I just, I just don't want to have the curve that high. I, w I want to have the tithe takers stuff to do early. And the other thing is, our, we saw sinister sabotage from the opponent, and so tithe taker is not, it's not necessarily dead. Like making their counter magic cost more uh, has a real benefit. Thanks, Timmy. Yeah, see, like, I like how this, this tie thicker is kind of sits on the curve more than Immortal Sun. And yeah, so I traded with the Lightning Strike. And we get to start attacking for one. I like it. Yeah, Hank. Get some emotes. Get some emote hype for that gifted sub. Yeah, this is the Nirvana Unplugged uh, album. So I did not attack with my 2-2 two -two because I, you know, like, if I attack with the 2-2 two -two there, they just get to, um, they get to trade with their Electromancer, where if I wait a turn, then the Knights are 4-3s, and the 4-3s, um, you know, do not trade with Electromancer. So that, yeah, that's a, yeah. So basically, that that describes Beat it. So me. I was not I was Just not happy try. with the trade, um, because they're gonna four threes the next couple turns. And that should be lethal. Five, nine, thirteen, fourteen. And boom goes the dynamite. GG. All right, one to know with Mardu Angels. Yeah, this, this deck's a little more aggressive than the ones we have been playing. We get to end games a little faster. It does uh, turn the corner pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. 
Crap. All right, making the Grixis Legends photo for the thumbnail. Esper Control. I just noticed our opponent was playing Esper Control, and I don't like it. I'd rather have Seraph resolve. I am not going to sit this one out. Time is much more malleable than people think. So it looks like we're probably going to game two here. We need to move quickly. I don't know if we're beating seven cards in hand with this little bit. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Maybe the Seraph gets there. You never know. Not even playing around Seal Away. We've drawn, we've drawn pretty good the last couple turns, like the Angel of Grace, Seraph, we've drawn pretty good. No time for a break. <laughs> Anybody have any ideas for Philo there of um, what's like a kind of like a budget deck to make with Wilderness Reclamation uh, that doesn't need to be standard just to play with casual threat. Play with friends. Doesn't even have to be standard. Alright, Duress. Theater. Spyglass. Immortal Sun. Honor Guard. Lyra. Lava Coil. <sighs> Gotta play one of these. Guess I'm playing a Lyra. This is the matchup where not having a Danto Vanguard really hurts. This is the the one matchup where we, we really want a Danto Vanguard. Um, yeah, this is this is the one. Ugh.
Yeah, we're, we're going to try to go aggro, um, but our deck isn't really the best at going aggro. Um, and that's the thing. We don't really have like the small creatures, smash face kind of thing. We're Our best cards are our two artifacts, uh, the two copies of um, Sorcerer's Spyglass and the two copies of Immortal Sun, specifically the Immortal Sun, but that's that's a hard one to resolve. But that's the one that we really want to resolve is the Immortal Sun. That's like our, our best chance of winning is having Immortal Sun in play. Um, Esper decks don't usually have very many answers to artifacts. Okay, let's get a white source, please. Gotta get another white source for Banalia. Really want, you know, Tithe Taker into Banalia. There we go. All right, now let's let's draw our artifacts. We, now we want to draw basically all of our sideboard cards. Now, I want to draw Duress, um, Duress, Spyglass, Mortal Sun, all that kind of stuff. Well, Banalia Dream is dead. Oh, I should probably just play a tap land and be able to have Mortify available. I don't need... I mean, I should just play, like, my regular land. The life doesn't matter. I should just have Mortify available here, so if they just play Escanta, I can Mortify and untap an Aurelia. Playing the other Seraph, so if they have Kaya's Wrath, we still get a bunch of uh, creature tokens. I guess the opponent has kind of a tough choice. Oh, there they go. They Wrath in. Contempting. Man, stop having a contempt for every Seraph I have, opponent. That's so rude. We have still haven't drawn a sideboard card yet. Uh, we need some of our 11 sideboard cards. Don't see settle too much. Hey, Orisonic. I will fight with honor. How convenient. An excellent choice. Yeah, taking two there, they could they could also just have um you know, chemistry's insight and stuff. Just don't see it settle too much from that Spredex. Well, most people don't, I do. Eyes everywhere is good for paper if you can't afford search. Um can you get treasure map? What was lost is now I, would, I would say play treasure map anytime there's a search. If you can't get search. But I also don't know exactly how expensive treasure map is, or if that's if that's an option. Um, uh, 
Um. What size everywhere do exactly three man enchantment? I'll keep scry one. Yeah. That's probably the next best option after treasure map. So that, that's fine. Okay, there maps are still expensive too. Um Yeah, so eyes everywhere. That's that's a good good re budget replacement. Um, another one is the the five man enchantment, but that's that's the problem is it's a five man enchantment. But I, I do like the five man enchantment. Um, I can't think of the name of it though. That's why I've been trying to think of the name of it. That uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, your opponent mills three, and then you draw a card for each land. But that may be a replacement for something else though, because that's su such a different spot on the curve. Um, but that's a good source of card advantage there. Patient rebuilding, yeah. Yeah. Don't think we're gonna win this matchup drawing zero of 11 sideboard cards. You know, I'm saying that this matchup's really tough and we need, we need our sideboard. Well, that, that does mean that we do actually need to draw our sideboard cards. You know what? I'm not done yet. I hope our opponent only has Saddle the Wreckage, and I hope we draw Tithe Taker, and then they die. Because they can't cast their Settle Wreckage. I hope they have no other interaction be besides Settle, and we draw Tithe Taker. Or Duress is good. So yeah, I hope they have no interaction besides Settle in their entire hand. Maybe they just have like three Settles. No, not three Settles. One Settle, and then a bunch of... Man, I can't even think of what else it could be. Just lands and Planeswalkers. And one Settle. They have a Kaya's Wrath also. Almost. Almost. They just have two things. They had a Settle and a Contempt. Man, we almost got them. That was close. That was really close. Like, how are we doing the last couple points of damage? We're just not. We need to draw Immortal Sun. That's what we need. We need to draw the Immortal Sun. Hold that thought. We have to draw it. Oh, did I not switch? No, that's the correct dress art. That's the good dress art. Please cast Thought Erasure right now. I'll make use of that later. Hey, 
Thank you for playing your Ascanta first, before the Thought Erasure. I got to destroy that. Very kind, very kind. Alright, we need Immortal Sun. The Immortal Sun... Land. Keep up the pace. You may regret that choice. All right, whatever. Let's just go to the next game. It's getting late. We're not, I mean, come on. We're not going to win that. No, the Deckmaster does not support the promo duress. Oh, check it. That's what somebody was saying that earlier, too, so I guess not. Which makes sense. Does the, does the Deckmaster support the promo Land War Elf yet? Because I know that was that was a thing for a little while. Fountain of Renewal. Yeah, loss for Mardu Angels. Esper is tough, and not drawing any sideboard cards makes it a lot tougher. We drew the one duress at, at one point. Uh, but it was way too late. So Abzan Fauna Renewal. Saga animations are really cool. Like that history of Benali animation, that's really cool. Yeah, Ravager Worm is probably the best animation, honestly. Ravager Worm is awesome. It's it's just like perfect, basically. It is so good. Attack. Not even, I don't even really feel like playing around sweepers this game too much. I probably should, like I probably should be playing around Kai's Wrath, but. So, the main thing of, like, playing around Kai's Wrath is, like, basically, you know, we'll keep this out there. Basically, do I play Resplendent Angel um, that gets us this and another Angel? I don't have Lethal next turn on the battlefield right now. That's only 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and they're at 12. Um... All right, good night, Matthew. All right, they're not going to do it. They're not going to just draw a black source and have Kai's Wrath here. That's not going to happen. They're just going to concede. Called it. Okay. 
So abs and control. Duress, theater, spyglass, immortal sun. I think we can kind of just board like we did against Esper control, honestly. That's what it seems like. I don't really know what I'm spyglassing, though. We can figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Easy mulligan decision. I wanted to keep the zero lander, of course. Perfect. Found something in the spyglass. Um, unfortunately, they have the combo out. Um, yeah, unfortunately, they have the, the Dawn of Hope found a renewal combo. That is a really good combo. I have 26 lands in here. One to six. Get to just draw an extra card every turn. Took the cast down because cast down kills Resplendent Angel. And at a cheaper rate than what Ixalan's Binding does. No, Spyglass does not stop that whenever you gain life claws, though. That's that's a problem. It does stop them from making soldiers, but that's it. Um, because that other thing is just they, that other thing's a triggered ability, it's not activated. You can tell the difference because the the basically all activated abilities have a colon. See, there it has like three and a white and then colon creates a one one so by that colon you can tell it's an activated ability there um so that's so the the top part it does not have that so that's not an activated ability so we can't so spyglass can't stop it well philo what kind of deck are you playing when you said you're looking for a replacement for hydroid crisis depends on the uh, you know depends on your deck and everything like that Thanks, Sly. Ooh, Mortify. Saving the binding. Attack. Team or Gates? Uh... With that deck, just play a bunch of expansion explosions and bane fires. Just kill your opponents instead of drawing cards. Go, deck, go. Go, fight, win. Plock worm instead? There you go.
Go, Dak, go. So now, now even if they have a Kaya's Wrath, we get four afterlife tokens, and they're at four. So just a very convenient number of afterlife tokens. Yeah, they may, yeah. Because last game we saw that they were Abzan, it's a good call. Um, that they could just be sitting with a bunch of green cards in hand. Um, not able to cast. All right, two and one. Good job, Mardu Angels. Way to curve. That's all we want to do. We want to play against aggro with um, with this deck. So that's that's what I'm hoping to face here. And also the games are shorter. And so that's another reason to hope that we're facing aggro. So let's face some aggro. Thanks, Jersey. Yeah, hopefully we get to five wins once. No, watery grave. That's not a that's not a very aggressive land. And our hands just kinda all dead cards. Great. Thanks to the help deck. First three draws all lands. What? I don't know what that thing is, but I'm gonna kill it. Standard staple mystic archaeologist. I've always thought this card's underrated. I've always kind of liked it as a sideboard card. Ha! I can't activate abilities. No surveil for you. You pass turn. Want to surveil? No. No surveil for you. Don't have anything else scary. Oh, no, that's scary. I was saying don't have anything else scary, opponent. That thing's too scary. Guess what this thing is. Three blue, three blue, blue draw two. They have an Arch of Araska. That Arch can maybe help them pull away. What does that sound? Oh, keep Scrizzle. Just keep them both on top. They just looked at those pretty quickly and were like, yeah, those cards are awesome. Doesn't bode well for me. <laughs> Alright, I wish I could throw these lands at him. Good job, deck. We need to draw six lands in one spell. Good job. Um... Go with this. Still keeping some lava coils because, like, Thief Sandy and everything um, it really doesn't necessarily match up super well against them. And there we go. <laughs> it's a, no hammer hands. It's not your fault. It's all good. Mm hmm. 
It's all good. That's <sighs> the glasses. Okay, let's try again. Dub's history. It's better than what we had last time. Do I have a lucky tie? This tie is kind of my lucky tie. I like this tie quite a bit. It's, it's my favorite tie. I think... Yeah, this was the tie I was wearing when I won both of my... Both the times I won an SCG Open, this was the... This was the tie I was wearing on Sunday when I was getting the trophy. So I guess it's my lucky tie. Thanks, Bluebird. We don't get to uh, curve history into history because we just taken out that thief of sanity. Um, and I want to cast, even though Mortify would use Mortify or Contempt. Sorry, either one would use our mana better. I want to um, use the Lava Coil because Mortify and Contempt can can kill Doom Whisper. Alright, and now I'll use more mana better, because same with Mortify and Contempt are basically the same. Do they have another Cry of Carnarium in their Creep Sanity deck? So I'm going to Mortify first before I Duress, so my opponent doesn't know about the Duress whenever they are deciding whether or not to pay life for surveilling. <laughs> Alright, so they did not pay any life. That's a pretty good hand they have there. Matches up well with what we got. Been playing MTG off and on again since 93. My local community uses my last name as a synonym for getting mana screwed. <laughs> it happens so often for me. Oh man. That's rough. Sorry to hear about that. Okay, so they have a memorial to folly. They can get back Doom Whisperer, and I have a Resplendent Angel. Good draw, good draw. Now, so this is a time where drawing a land here for like the six land would actually be kind of good. That I can activate Resplendent Angel and, uh, and everything. Okay, we did not get it. But Lava Coil could do something. came a turn too late. They are paying that life. Hey, cool, Azor Beast. Happy birthday. Hey, okay. Sorry. I 
too much stuff in the way, so you can't sit here. There you go. don't need the lands anymore. We really just need that land that, that one turn. We don't need it anymore. Twenty-four today. Happy birthday. Thanks, Crane. Our deck has not been kind to us this match. Not been kind to us. Four lands in a row. After we missed like the one land drop I wanted to hit, we miss it. And then we just draw four lands in a row. I don't know, I guess our opponent just wanted to play something. I just wanted to kill my 1-1. One, one. Five lands in a row. Six lands in a row. A, a sad day. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Not a sad day at all. Sorry, a sad ending to a wonderful day. There we go. That can happen when you don't, you know, you don't have, we don't have like a whole lot of card draw in here. So, you know, we can't really stop that from happening. So the top, top of our library can do that to us. Um, you know, that can happen. So, all good. Oh, absolutely, Sly. Thank you so much. So, um, so normal stream tomorrow with uh, with likely a surprise guest tomorrow. Um, I think think we're gonna have a surprise guest tomorrow on the stream. Um, I guess I could have announced that maybe earlier, um, but we'll see. I'm not not I'm not 100 percent sure it's gonna work out, but maybe a surprise guest tomorrow, um, and then. Uh, the 20th, um, most likely no stream, but we'll see, um, uh, I'm, I have an uh, appointment to, to get my taxes done and everything, um, and so we're going to be doing that, and so we'll see if I have time to stream afterwards or not, so most likely no stream on the 20th, um, that's a big, like, Twitch Rivals thing anyway with the, uh, um, so no, I'm not, not playing in the Twitch Rivals thing. And so there's going to be tons and tons of other streamers on anyway. So it's, it's kind of a good day for me to have off. So doing a lot of doing my taxes and everything there. Uh, and then, so that's the, that's Wednesday. And then Thursday, we're doing another 12 hour stream that we, for all the subs today. So another, another 12 hour stream on Thursday, um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is the pro tour. Um, I'm not sure if or when, how much I'm going to stream over the weekend, because I don't really want to be streaming during the pro tour. And everything and I, I don't know so we'll, we'll kind of see we'll play that by ear and then uh monday another 12 hour stream so we're doing a 12 hour stream friday and monday because of the all the awesome subs today for everything so so that's that's my schedule for the next few days um and there we go so yes wonderful wonderful birthday today thank you everybody you are all so amazing Love y'all so much. And there we go. If you're watching this later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you watch all the videos today. And I'll see you for the next one.